Hey guys, welcome to bed today. We're in a video, and today we're covering the Jack Intimidator blueprint for the M93R or the Rafika in game here, turning this into an M9 or an Barrett or excuse me, Beretta 92FS. So we'll go ahead and cover this. This converts it from a three round burst to a single fire, a little bit more powerful. We'll cover this conversion kit or the aftermarket part and show some gameplay. So backing out, the final design we're going to be running here. Really nice looking build. So for the challenge, again, I'm not sure, you can look at these on the multiplayer. The weekly challenges are not available. All these are available already though, that we've covered. So just check a multiplayer under the conversion kit itself for the Jack Intimidator. It'll tell you the unlock challenges. I'll pin it, whoever puts it in the comments, I'll pin it down below. So check the comments, it'll be there. So obviously the Jack Intimidator is the one we want here. Let's go ahead and just select the base Renetti and we'll build this thing up. So here's the base Renetti. Again, at base, it's a three-round burst weapon, so let's check it out. Okay, three-round burst. So with the conversion kit, this is going to turn from a three-round burst to a single-shot weapon. So it's going to have increased damage, aim walking speed, flinch resistance, and bullet velocity. Cons are the fire rate goes down and the damage at range goes down, but you're going to be more accurate. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now for the barrel option here, to have the correct barrel, we're going to want this first option. Um, the the barrel in the hand in the upper slide here just looks wrong with the first one. So this one here is going to give us similar to an M93 F or excuse me a Beretta 92 FS. So this is the M9, one of the one of the improved ones the U.S. military adopted. But it is the M92 FS for basically enhanced slide model. Um, so this is a, a short competition barrel is the one we're going to select here. Going to give us hip fire and tax tax spread. Which is strange because I was unable to attack stance. We'll check it out in the firing range. Sprint fire speed, aimed outside speed, and movement speed. And the cons are recoil control. So we'll go ahead and select that. Got to give us the right barrel, upper slide length, and the barrel length. Uh, the upper slide and the barrel. Um, for the muzzle, we're going to run, this is personal preference. You can run whatever suppressor you want. I'm going to run an Osprey suppressor, the Forge DX30. Nope, that's not the wrong one. The FT Steel Fire is the Osprey suppressor just because it looks... It's a, it's a great suppressor for 9x19. So we'll go ahead and select that. Going to give us undetectable radar, bullet velocity, firing aim stability, and recoil control. Laser, because we do have an extra attachment, we will run a laser. We're going to run this one here, the Verdant Hook Mounted Laser. Going to give us CQC accuracy while sliding, hit fire, tax and spread, and sprint to fire speed. Cons are laser is visible when ADSing. So we'll go select that. Optic, we'll go ahead and not select one there. We don't need a stock. For the grip, we'll leave the base grip. There's really the, the better grip that we would want, I feel like, is the wood grip, but we wouldn't want it in wood. We'd want it in polymer with the Beretta signal or sign in the middle. So we don't have the right one. So we're just going to stay with the base um, rear grip there. Magazine, you have options here for the 24, 30, and 50. We're going to stay with the base uh, 15, I believe it is. At or 12, we'll see what it is in the firing range. Trigger racks, you can't touch because we're locked in semi. You also have the ammunition here, which for this one, we're just gonna run armor piercing for the heck of it. But again, you can swap that attachment out as you want. And then for the camo, we'll go ahead and throw a straight black camo on this because that's how the M92s or the M9s came. And this is our final design, the M9 Beretta or the Beretta 92 FS. Really nice looking weapon here. We're going to be running this with the a G3A4 build that I have here. Really nice modern G3. You'll see that in the gameplay as well. Let's go ahead and jump in the firing range. So here's the M9 or the Beretta 92 FS. Nice little inspect. I'm not sure if it's the same as the Renetti. I really never played with the Renetti, to be honest. I'm assuming it's the same. Now you cannot tax dance, so I'm not sure why it said tax dance spread, unless you need a hip fire laser, but I'm unable to tax dance with my controls. So regardless, let's test it out. Four shots. Four shots, these are all the body. Let's see if we can mount so we can more accurate for the long. This is 75 meters. We missed, so three. Five shots, that's pretty crazy, honestly. Four, four, and five, that's better than AR than ARs in the game. Four, four, and then let's see if we can hit this without mounting. One, two, three, four, five. 
Yeah, that's very powerful. Again, that's more powerful than, than assault rifles in the game. But again, you have a slower rate of fire, so I, it does make sense. Check out the recoil here. Obviously, you're semi-auto, so it's not going to be crazy. Just fire this as fast as we can. Right, pretty accurate. Just gonna get a little bit horizontal. Just hit fire. Again, not bad. CQ is gonna be great. Maybe this is where the attack span. Attack stance is probably just actual hit fire. Is really what it is with a pistol. That makes more sense. Which it happens to be very accurate. Let's try this long target. Not as accurate as I would have thought, but the closer ranges, I like it should be, makes sense. The M9, let's jump into the gameplay here on Paris. Again, running it with that G3A4. So the Beretta 92, or the M9 as it was adopted by the military, it replaced the 45 ACP version of the 1911A1 pistol in 1985 with the Beretta 92 FS. So that's the weapon we have here, again, designated M9 by the US military. So the Beretta 92, also known as the 96, Breda 96, and the Breda 98, and a series is a series of semi-automatic pistols designed and manufactured by Beretta of Italy. The Breda 92 is, was designed in 1975. The production began in 1976. Many variants with several calibers were eventually produced for this weapon. So it is one of the more popular pistols. It was finally replaced by the U.S. military. Um, for, I believe they went for another 45 ACP round. I'm not sure. You have different branches of the military dodge the different ones. But it's a semi automated pistol. Place of origin is Italy. The company manufacturer is Beretta. In service from 1976 through present. The version here we have is 9x19 Parabellum in game, as well as when it was adopted as the M9 by the US military. The design period was 1975. There's over 3,500,000 units produced. The mass of the weapon, um, dependent on the version, is going to be around 920 grams or 32 ounces. The length of the weapon, around 8.5 inches, again, depending on the barrel size. Um, we also have eight, anywhere from 8.5 to 7.8 inches. Barrel length is going to be around 4.9 inches, with the cartridge being available in 9x19 Parabellum for this series of weapons, the Beretta 92 or the M9. You also had a 40 Smith & Weston version, which is the 96 series. You also had a 9x21 IMI version with the 98 series and a 765 Luger version with a 98 series as well. So the action is a short recoil hinge locking piece assisted breech block. The bullet velocity for this is going to be 300, 381 meters per second, excuse me, or 1,250 feet per second with the effective firing range of 50 meters or 160 feet. The feet system will be a detachable box magazine, anywhere from 10 to 15, 17, 18, 20, 32, or 30. You also have here in game where with the base one is a 15 round magazine, so that is accurate. Um, you do have different rounds or different magazines for the other versions based on the, the cartridge size as well, with the 40 Smith & Weston, a 9x21, etc. So. Really cool weapon. Um, they did win a lawsuit with this version that was eventually got the 92 FS. The US military said it, because this is essentially an enhanced slide, the US military said it had a catastrophic malfunction. Um, Beretta proved that was wrong, and um, the US military had to pay for any enhancements needed to the weapon after that. So um, it was adopted as the M9, Beretta M9. So it's a Iconic weapon from the 90s. I have a feeling we're obviously going to see this in Black Ops 6 is probably the main pistol, one of the main pistols of the game. Let me know your thoughts down below. It handles really well in game. Again, uh, with a larger magazine, especially, you'll have you know more rounds to put down target. The damage is pretty crazy with this. The only thing the downside is going to be the rate of fire. But let me know your thoughts down below. The M9, Beretta M9 pistol here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 with the conversion for the Jack Intimidator kit. Let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, but for gaming, out.